This video highlights some of the new features and bug fixes in Sitka's Evergreen 3.7. When using an effective date in check-in, there is now an option to use that date until the user logs out of the staff client. The Item Status Input box will now accept a string of barcodes that are separated by commas, as well as a single barcode. In Patron Edit, test notification buttons display beside email address and default SMS text number. Staff can click the button to send the respective test notification to the patron. The button does not display if the field is blank. Patrons can also access the test notifications themselves through Account Preferences in My Account. The Email Test Notification is available on the Personal Information tab. The Text Test Notification is available from the Notification Preferences tab. Hold groups allow library staff to create lists of patrons that can be used to place multiple title-level holds on the same bibliographic record. This is useful for book clubs, newer on-order items, and or high-demand items. A new library setting called Randomize Group Hold Order allows for hold placement times to be randomized among list members for fair distribution. Hold groups can be accessed by going to Circulation and selecting Hold Groups. Existing hold groups for your library will display, and new groups can be added by clicking New Hold Group. Enter a name for your group, a description if desired, and indicate whether or not the group is visible to patrons. Patron visible groups can be viewed by patrons via My Account. Click Create Bucket. Double click on a group to open it. The Hold Groups menu on the Current Users tab allows you to edit, delete, and share your hold group. From the Add Users tab, you can scan in patron barcodes or search for patrons to add users to your group. When you have a list of users, select the users and click Add All to Hold Group. On the Current Users tab, you can now see the members of your group. To place holds for your group members, go to the Hold Events tab. Click New Hold Group Event. You will need to know the database ID for the bibliographic record you would like to place the hold for. The database ID can be found in the Record Summary section of a record. Enter the database ID and click Create Event. Evergreen will go through and place holds for all patrons in your hold group. Patrons that are part of Patron Visible Hold Groups will see a Hold Groups tab in My Account with a list of the groups they are in. Patrons can remove themselves from groups they no longer want to be part of by clicking Remove Me. Hopeless holds can be accessed by going to Administration, Local Administration, Hopeless Holds. Holds that are unfillable or hopeless will display. Evergreen uses the hopeless date to determine what to show on this screen. A hopeless date is given to a hold when the potential items list for the hold is empty or when all potential items have an item status that is hopeless prone. In Sitka's Evergreen, hopeless prone item statuses are discard weed, damaged, lost, lost and paid, and missing. There are a number of actions that can be performed to resolve a hopeless hold. Staff can cancel the hold, find another target, transfer the hold to another record, add a new holding, or use view place orders to order a new item through the acquisitions module. In 3.7, the traditional catalog has been replaced by the new fully functional staff catalog. The traditional catalog can be accessed through the cataloging menu, but all links within Evergreen now direct to the new catalog and co-op support will no longer support use of the traditional catalog. To access the new staff catalog, on the cataloging menu, 
select Search the Catalog. The new catalog has the same functionality as the traditional catalog, with a new look and some new features. Catalog preferences can now be set directly in the catalog. The new search templates can be used to save your selections for commonly used searches. For example, you can set up a search for keyword and author once and save it as a template. Set up your fields, and then from the Search Templates menu, select Save Template. Give your template a name, and click Save. Your template is now available in the Search Templates drop-down menu. Search templates are tied to the workstation they're created on. From the Search Results list, records can now be opened in new tabs by right-clicking on the title. This allows you to easily work with multiple records. For more information on using the new Staff Catalog, see our additional videos specific to the Staff Catalog and its features. In the Public Catalog, patrons now have an option to show only available copies on a record. Clicking this hides any copies that are not currently available. Filters have been added to some of the administration pages. For example, in the Shelving Locations Editor, you can filter to see just non-holdable shelving locations, or all your locations that contain the word fiction. Additionally, the library scope that appears throughout Evergreen now defaults to the location your workstation is registered to. The Acquisition Search can be accessed through the Acquisitions menu by going to General Search, Selection List, Purchase Orders, or Invoices. Your point of entry determines which search tab displays initially. The Legacy Search interface can still be accessed as needed for functionality that isn't yet available through the new search, such as performing batch actions on line items. A default search can be set for each tab. When the checkbox Retrieve Results Immediately is checked, Evergreen will perform the search when opening the tab. Default searches are saved for the workstation. Search terms can be added and removed as needed. Filters can be used to filter your search results. For example, we can easily switch between line items with different states for a particular provider without needing to do additional searches. Providers can now be accessed through the main acquisitions menu by going to Provider Search. The top section of the screen supplies a search form that can be used to retrieve those providers that match your search terms. For example, you can search for a specific provider by code or retrieve all providers that use a particular currency. The arrow to the right of the Reset Form button can be used to collapse the search form. Your search results display at the bottom. Evergreen will automatically retrieve all of your providers when the Search Providers page is open and display them depending on how many display rows you have by default. Search results can be filtered on the different columns. A provider record can be opened by double-clicking on the line or by checking the box for the provider and going to the Actions menu. Select Retrieve Provider. The summary displays on the left and the tabs across the top can be used to access different parts of the provider record. The Holding tag can now be found under the Holding Definitions tab. Tabs for EDI and Purchase Orders have been added. A new provider record can be created by clicking on the New Provider button and filling in the applicable information. When creating a new reservation in the Booking module, there is now an option enabling you to search for a patron. 
Reports now have an output option to calculate grouping subtotals. When this option is checked, a new unlabeled row or column is created with the subtotals for each grouping and an unlabeled grand total row or column. The results of a marked search in the staff catalog now scope properly to the search library rather than retrieving results for the entire consortium. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.